So I got so many questions from you guys. What camera do you use? It's this one. And what kind of setup do you have in order to shoot your videos? So in this video, I want to specifically talk about the camera and also about the setup and what I like about the Insta360 ONE-R and what I really hate about the Insta360 ONE-R as well. So let's roll! <laughs> the footage. Filming from my mouth and flying through a cactus and back again. These are kind of shots that you can only take with a 360 camera. So first and foremost, this is the biggest selling point of the Insta360 ONE-R. The unique perspectives that you can take and also that you can just place your camera anywhere and later edit the footage in a way that suits you and you can really get these unique shots while you're busy flying. So often you don't have the time and resources to manage the camera while you fly close to the terrain such in this clip. But with the Insta360 ONE-R it's all easy. You just put it somewhere, you record and you edit later. This is quite amazing about this camera. Also one really cool thing is the stabilization. So in the next clip here we just fly in time-lapse mode so super fast along this cliff face. Again no time to manage the camera, have to be fully focused on flying but you can speed it up and get really smooth footage because the image is so stabilized. The setup. Usually all my videos start with a mitten in my mouth because I need to have one hand free to install the camera to get it um, all set up to connect the cable as you can see dangling here. So it's often quite a bit of a tricky one in the air and sometimes you can even experience some turbulences and then I have to quickly jump back on the brakes and manage my wing and then go back and install the camera. So this is a bit of a hassle. So how does the setup really look like from up close? So what I usually do, I keep the camera in the front cockpit and then I take it out. I have it usually with the lens guards on. So this, this comes standard with the camera. So I remove the lens guards and I put them in the cockpit box. And I usually turn it on and I also start filming because later it's often difficult um, to reach. Then what I also do once it starts filming, since I film for a long long time, I also hook it up to a power bank. So in the cockpit as well I have a 20,000 milliamp power bank and then I just um, connect it with the camera so it's a USB-C and what you can see is it has kind of this uh, little thing that sticks out at the bottom so what I, I use it here and I put the cable underneath there and then I use this kind of GoPro screw mount here to um, fix the cable so this way you can see it's nicely aligned with the selfie stick and it will stay in the blind spot of the two lenses so it stays invisible in the shot. So then I'm set up for putting it in the harness so I just extend the selfie stick there we go and I usually just um, quite simply shove it um, kind of in between the cocoon and the straps on the side so I always wiggle kind of my way in between here and then it's usually quite nicely fixed like this so it sticks out to the front and then what I do is um, I take the cable and I wrap it around just like this around the selfie stick so usually I turn the stick for it um, because the, the battery is fixed and I check that it's still connected so this is one problem that I sometimes experience I lose the connection and then you can see the cable is running along the selfie stick so also this cable stays invisible in the shot and this is how I then fly 
so I have the camera sticking out and yeah it's quite amazing that it can stabilize the footage as well because you can think that I'm flying I mean it's always moving so the, the harness is moving anyway but it's actually on this selfie stick that sticks out so I mean this stick will move a lot during the flight but you can see this um, the footage comes out really smooth so it's it's quite amazing so this is the setup basically I use the Insta 361R um, with the 360 mod have it on a selfie stick which I just put on the side in the harness I have the camera secured or the selfie stick secured via a screw in the selfie stick and um, I just have it on a power supply because I film for a very long time and the cable I just run along the selfie stick to the external battery which is in the cockpit yep so yeah if you talk about 360 cameras you also have to talk about the app and the insta 361 r app is great but it also has some flaws so we can jump straight into a flying clip that we want to edit and you can already see it takes a long time to load so this is one of my major criticisms it's quite resource hungry, it's a bit understandable because the footage is um, quite large but yeah, it can often crash and do stuff like this so this, this is really what I don't like about the app. You can see it's a 360 camera so we can look all around. We have the pilot down here or we can look up at the, the wing and we really have everything just around but it keeps the horizon level so you can see um, if we're in the middle it keeps the horizon um, level and stabilized also we can choose easily the aspect ratio of the picture so for instance one to one for um, Instagram but this will go on YouTube so we actually choose the 16 to 9 aspect ratio then what I often do is before I start editing I remove the direction lock and the direction lock keeps the direction of the, the footage in the direction of the camera but I often want to have it just in one direction because the camera moves in the air, moves on the selfie stick, sometimes turns and I just want to have it face in one direction so I keep the direction lock off and if you would do classic flying um, clip I would just face in the direction so we don't see the wing and put a pivot point so this chooses this alignment and then we can scroll forward so this goes usually quite quickly and smoothly and we have this flight so then it's still good the wing is not showing um, I'm taking another pivot point and this is basically how I work my way through the footage. Now you can see the wing is showing, the camera has turned a bit. So I readjust, usually I use the cocoon as a reference point. So we face in the direction where we actually fly. So I can have another pivot point there and just scroll through the footage like this. So this is really quite easy. Then what I also do in the app is I cut it with the scissor icon what I want to cut out and also very important is the speed so you can adjust the speed here um, again you can see the load times in between can be sometimes a bit annoying so what you can have is the 16 times I use for most of the fast clips that I show on the channel and then you just choose the clip that should be sped up and you can also choose if it adds some motion blur this uh, kind of imitates the um, yeah uh, not so uh, the shutter speed that you would have in order to get some motion blur so it renders the picture a bit less jittery so I usually keep this on and then you just press ok you go back and you load um, yeah so this is the the basic workflow I also export it all on my phone, so I do everything on my phone. Um, this works quite well. One annoying thing 
about the camera is that sometimes it loses connection. Oops, so yeah, here you see it just lost the connection and we dropped out and yeah, then you lose also your edit and this is really annoying. So this is one thing that I don't like at all. Um, also, what is annoying is that the camera can sometimes freeze, not just editing, so also filming and then you lose your material. This is the really bad things about it. So yeah, I hope you found this useful and uh, yeah, I hope you can shoot cool videos as well and I would be um, delighted to watch some examples and um, please post some. <laughs>